Pops, it's Sam. So today I have partnered up with It Cosmetics to bring you guys a get ready with me. This one is kind of a little festive. I'm using green, which I never ever use. It's just like a very natural look, but with a pop of color. So if you're like me and you kind of just like to stick to what you know, this is definitely a good makeup look for you guys. What I love about It Cosmetics is that their, their products are like problem solving. For example, the powder I'm using, it solves a problem. If you have big pores, this is gonna actually help make your pores look smaller. Same with the skincare that I'm gonna be using today, bye-bye pores, bye-bye dark spots. What I like also is the way they name things, like I know what this is for, which is kinda nice, because sometimes with skincare products, you're like, I don't even know what this is supposed to do. You definitely know what that's supposed to do when you read the title, which I think is really simple. And even their makeup has ingredients that nourishes your skin, so every single product that you're using on your face is skin loving. And for me, I have that sensitive eye, this one right here, she's a real pain in the bum. Um, and I don't have problems with It Cosmetics like bothering my eyes, which is really nice. And luckily, It Cosmetics is having a sale. So they're having a holiday sale from 11.20 to 11.28, which is 30% off site-wide. So all of these It Cosmetics products that I'm showing you guys here today are currently on sale. So you guys can shop them, save yourself some money, and then I have a special code just for you guys, which is MAGIC35, and I'll put it right here. That's gonna save you guys an extra 5% off. So instead of 30% off site-wide, you're gonna get 35% off site-wide just for being my friend. That's really good. Take advantage, stock up on some gifts, stock up on your favorites, try some products you've never tried before. I kind of share a few of my favorites um, throughout the video, and then I just show you how to get this look. I love this green look. I think it's super fun. The skin looks great. It's hydrated. Sm the, the s'mores are filled. The pores are smooth and filled. Everything is looking super lovely. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take advantage of that coupon code. I'm gonna link every single item down in the description box below. And of course, I will have that description box, or I'm sorry, that coupon code in the description box to save you guys an extra 5% on top of the sale that they are already having. So yay for sales, yay for coupon codes. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. Bye Bye Dark Spots Concentrated Derma Serum. This has got 4% niacinamide and 1% uh, ethyl vitamin C. So I usually like to go in with my vitamin C serums, like that's my first step. So this is what it looks like. It is a little dropper. You are allowed to apply this morning and night. This one is supposed to help visibly reduce dark spots and discoloration, and it's supposed to help visibly improve skin clarity. Oh, that feels so nice. I'm gonna take another drop just for my neck. That's for me where I have, I had some serious breakouts. I swear, it's like every time I'm on my period, my neck is just like, Pop, 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 pop. Next one we're gonna put on is the Bye Bye Pores Concentrated Derma Serum. This is 10% glycolic, and then it also has hyaluronic acid. Again, it is a little pump top. It is supposed to gently exfoliate to help refine texture, and then hyaluronic acid helps support a smoother, supple, supple feel. And this is actually supposed to reduce the look of pores in two weeks. So I like to pull everything up, especially like with my brow area. Put it on my neck. And then I always like to pull, it's kind of like a nice little facial massage. This is a really nice moisturizer. I like it because it doesn't feel too thick or heavy, but you can use it morning and night. Very smoothing, it just kind of glides on. There is a slight scent to it, so I'm not gonna go too close up to the eye. That's what I've noticed for me, is like if stuff is really scented and I put it near my eye, that's when I have the problems. We are gonna take the Confidence in an Eye Cream Super Peptide Anti-Fatigue Treatment. This is the 2% peptide. This is really nice because it's super illuminating. It has kind of like a nice, like, I don't wanna say tacky, but it, it definitely feels like it kind of like dries fairly quickly and then kind of leaves like a nice like stick so that everything stays really well and it kind of feels like it automatically like firms. Like I don't have bags or anything, don't mind tittles. But I feel like if you did, there's definitely kind of like a sucking in or like firming kind of feel that it does. So, what so I think today for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Chanel. It's the Ultimate Radiance Generating Cream Foundation. I have it in the color 60 Beige. Honestly, I think it's a little dark for me. I'm gonna mix in just probably one pump of the Zoeva Authentic Skin. I think this is the color 
120 and dark daring. Now the Chanel has a very, very strong scent, like very floral. So I'm gonna make, make sure I stay away from my eyes because I tried this in Vegas and it was literally, oh, I think I've made it a little bit too light. Um, anyway, I tried it in Vegas and my eyes were watering so bad. And then I tried it a couple times when I got home. Used it back home as well. And I didn't use anything else different. My eyes were watering so bad. It's so annoying. So I've come to find that things that are scented is what the problem is. And it's just the one eye, which is so weird. That's a perfect match now, perfect. Cool beans. So um, I'm just gonna kind of like stay away from the eye area. I'm just kind of going like up and around it. So this Chanel foundation was really beautiful by itself. It was just a little dark for me. So sometimes it's like if the color's off, it's hard to tell, you know what I mean? For me personally, I probably wouldn't keep it simply because the scent is a little bit too strong for me. Just like don't think it's worth the price. Like it's pretty, but it's nothing that I'm like blown away by. And it's $138. So for me, I'm like, that's a lot of money. I better look freaking 20. It's nothing special. It's pretty, it looks good. But I can't say it's like, wow. For my concealer, I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. And then I take the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Light Peach. I do a little bit of that right underneath. And I feel like the, the two together is like such a nice combo. I'm just gonna use the other side of the sponge simply because I don't wanna get that foundation by my eye. So I'm just using the clean side. So see how those two colors together just like brighten the under eye so well. Combination of those two. The light peach by itself is a little too thick and a little too bright. And then the Milk Makeup for me isn't quite bright enough and isn't quite enough coverage, but it's really pretty like underneath the eyes is, you know, like a, um, for the fine lines and wrinkles. This is the Celestial Light from Laura Mercier. It's like a loose highlight. For my bronzer, I'm gonna take Star Bronzer Natural Glow O2 Solaire from Lancome. And I'm just gonna pop that in all of my places that I would contour. This is nice, it has a bit of a sheen, but not much, it's pretty matte. And it's a good color, it's not too warm, it's not too cool. I still prefer my Beauty Counter one, but they discontinued it, which I just don't know why companies keep doing this. I don't know why they do that. There's a vent right above me, it's literally blasting me and I'm about to have a hot flash. There's, we're just gonna go on the jaw. And that's just gonna blend everything down to my chest. And then I go underneath the lip and then on the sides of the nose. This is the Sigma 4D HD and just, it's like a little triangle. I just go like this right here. You know what I just realized? I never did my primer. For blush, we're gonna take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Blush. I've already got it messed up, so sorry. There's powder on it. This is in the color Je Ne Sais Quoi. It's so pretty. It's like this really pretty pink color. Really, really gorgeous. I'm just gonna take it with the Heavenly Lux French Boutique Blush Brush. This is the number four from It Cosmetics, and I like to keep it up fairly high. This is just such a pretty little pink. It's kind of more cool toned. So if you're looking for like a cool tone blush, it's nice because it doesn't enhance texture. It's kind of like pore blurring. We're gonna make it nice and pink and flushed. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that such a pretty color? This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder in Translucent. So I'm just gonna dip that in. I'm gonna go right underneath. Hold on first. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes. The rest of the face, I'm just gonna take the Heavenly Lux Wand Ball Powder Number no. Eight Brush. This is like really nice and big and fluffy, very soft. And I'm just gonna dip into the lid and I'm just going to powder the rest of my face. 
that's really helped like blur everything out make my face look really like smooth it's like poreless that's insane i'm just gonna take this one it's discontinued so i'm not even gonna bother telling you what it is because you can't get it anyway but that it cosmetics one really filled in all the pores if you have if pores are the problem so this is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk And just filling in the corners. Oh, it's feeling colder on me now. Thank God. I was about to have a meltdown. Then I take the Nude Glow Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. This is the Makeup by Mario. I put that like that. And then I take the Lip Glow Oil in Cher or raspberry from Dior. You guys, this is a must have. It's so, so pretty. It adds just the perfect amount of pink back to the lip. So it looks like your natural lip color. It's like, honestly, look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Okay, I'm gonna brush up my brows. What is this called? The Bay Brow? I don't know. It just looks like this. It's actually really good. I like it a lot. Then I'm going to take the Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Blonde from L'Oreal. And we're just going to start making a brow. Okay, then I'm gonna take the NYX um, Lift and Snatch in the color Ash Brown. I'm gonna just do like little brush strokes. I go in with the Beauty Pie Archology Eyebrow Sculpting Gel in the color Blonde. I'm just gonna brush up the four hairs that I do have. And it kind of just helps to like soften that lift and snatch pen. And sometimes I have to go back in and add a couple more hair strokes. I kind of feel a little bit like I want to do something green today. I'm going to take my Fulfilled palette from Red Aspen and I'm going to pop that right underneath my brow just to kind of carve out the brow. I love this Mario lip whatever it's called, the moisture lip plumping serum, because it's really cold on the lips. I got a new chair, love it, it's so great, but I keep rolling over my dressing gown and it's kind of annoying. So let's see if this has got what I'm looking for. Yes, it does. Cool beans. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this, but first I'm gonna do my crease like I always do, just nice neutral. I'm gonna go in with exhale, embrace and purpose i had a um comment on my tiktok and it said it's something along the lines of when it's nice to see that when you say that like this is your favorite or like you're obsessed with something i can't remember it word for word but that it's actually used like i do actually love this it is my favorite a lot of products will be your favorite but it doesn't look like it's been very used like this you can tell is my favorite it's my daily eyeshadow palette and i i see comments that say like god it's so expensive and i agree it is pricey but honestly this has lasted me such a long time and it is so good it does not make my eyes water the colors are so beautiful it's just such a great everyday neutral like crease colors i just love it like i seriously do love it but you can actually tell so i liked that comment because i was like oh it's nice to see that like people <laughs> appreciate the fact that I actually have like a pin on this. That's how you know when someone has true love for something, when it's just kept on over the years, the purpose and the comfort on a smudgy brush. I ordered the Ariel Makeup by Ariel brush set from Morphe. Um, it should be here soon. I feel like Ulta's shipping is actually a little bit slow which is kind of annoying, but whatever. I did for it to be here so I can try out the brushes because I've heard 
so many people talking about them that I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm like really missing out. I was getting a little bit of FOMO. I am gonna take some of that blush and I'm just going to get a smaller fluffy brush and I'm just gonna get just a little bit of that and pop that into my crease just to kind of give it a little bit of a pinky tone. It just kind of ties into the cheeks. Then we're gonna go in with this deep green right here. It's called Snarky. And I'm gonna use my little brush that I usually use for my bra or for my winged liner. Normally I do this with the brown, but today we're gonna be rebs and we're gonna do it with the green. I can't talk while I do that, it's very serious business. Oh my gosh, that is actually so pretty. Then I'm gonna do the other side and then we're gonna top it with a sparklier one. We're gonna look like a little Christmas tree today. This is gonna be my last video without a TV up on my thingy. Well, actually no, there'll be a couple because I'm filming a bunch today. <laughs> They're gonna come install our TV, I'm so excited. So we haven't had a TV this whole time because Jay has been waiting for Black Friday. So we moved in here in June and he's like, I think we'll just wait till Black Friday for a TV. I'm like, oh my God, okay, whatever. So when we all wanna watch a movie, we all have to sit in our bed, in our bedroom. And then the kids like take up so much room and they've got all their pillows and their blankets. And then I'm like on the edge and it's just like really not, it's not super fun. Like I love watching movies with the kids, but when you're all like cramped in the bed, it's just not great. I don't really know anything about TVs. I just know that I don't want it to look ugly, you know? And so I was like, this is on you. Like, this is your choice. You pick the TV. Um, but I was beginning to think that it was never gonna happen. And I was like, great, we're gonna be TV list for so long. <laughs> but he finally ordered one. I was like, thank you. I just, it's so empty and I hate looking at that plug. I'm gonna take, I'm not going. That is literally me in a nutshell. Like whenever someone invites me to do something, I'm like, yes, because I hate saying no. And then I'm like, why did I say yes? I don't want to go. I'm just like such a homebody. I just really don't like going places. Like the older I get, the more I'm just like, I can't be bothered. Do you find that that happens or is it just me? Do you find that like the older you get, the more you just don't have like the patience for nonsense and like people? So I think what I'm gonna do is take the cognac candy because it adds just a little sparkle without it being too much so that just when you're like in the light, you'll just see a bit of a glow, but nothing, nothing too much. That's perfect because it's, it's still not taking away from the green. That green is so pretty. I'm the Grinch. Oh my God, I was gonna use a new mascara. This is the Hello Lashes Plus. It looks like this. I literally completely spaced, you guys. It's got the little wand, which I think is actually really good. Oh yeah. Oh, holy crap. Wow, that really gives you like twiggy lashes. <clears throat> I might just add a little bit of this. Kind of volumize those up real nice. Oh wow, look at it. Look at it go. It's actually good because my mascara is getting dry. Anyway, so that's the beautiful, or what is it? Hello, Hello Lashes Plus. Then we have the Lash Blowout. So that's like a really like, this is gonna be just like feathery, just like full. And then we have the superhero. This is what this tube looks like. So with this one, you've got like a more skinnier brush wand. Um, that one that I just used though, man, that really just like amped up my lashes. I feel like I need a little bit more right here in the front bit. 
I like the little wand for the underneath lashes. That works really well. And we're gonna brush off this bake and we're gonna see how poreless I am. Like it really does help to fill in those pores, make everything look nice and smooth. I'm gonna brush this one off. So I'm just gonna take this Sephora Fascinated number 29. Whoa, I just went crazy with the blush. A little more highlight. I got a little excited with the blush. We're just looking a little Santa Clausy. It's fine. We'll just kind of go like this. And then to finish it off, I'm just taking the Dior and we're just gonna pop that under the eye. Just like this. I just left a message for on that guy. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's fine. But, or just, I'm sure they'll just show up anyway, won't huh? they? Okay, last but not least, we are gonna do the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. This has got hyaluronic acid in it. It is fabulous. Shake it up real good. I'm gonna cover my eye. That is the final look. So the eyes are just that little bit of pop of green. It's so pretty, it's very subtle. So if you wanna like add a little bit of color but you don't know how to and you're like, oh, I just feel like it's gonna be too much, this is always a great way. Just add a little bit. It has to be a deeper color. So if you wanna do like a burgundy or a deep plum or like this, you know, dark green, it just adds just a little bit of color without being too much to where you feel like you're completely out of your comfort zone. So just keep your, keep your crease neutral add the little pop of color in the liner, um, and then it just like adds a little something. But yeah, I love this look. I think it looks really, really pretty. And then those serums are super nice. Nothing burned, nothing irritated. My eye is not watering at the moment, so that's always exciting. These brushes, super duper soft. Absolutely love them. This I've been using for a while now. This is actually my second one. I had to buy another one because I ran out. Love it. The setting spray is great from It Cosmetics. When I did my first video with them, I have added that into my routine. It's a really beautiful eye cream. I just love how it, it really does feel like it kind of sucks in and firms the under eye and it illuminates, which I love. So those are definitely like the ones that I have used the most. The Je ne sais quoi blush, I don't think you can go wrong. I think any of the colors would be really pretty. Okay guys, so there is my get ready with me. Thank you so much to you guys for watching. Huge thank you to It Cosmetics for partnering up with me for this video and for that amazing coupon code. Magic 35, again, don't forget to use it. You will save 35% off site wide. So all of these it cosmetics products that I showed you guys here, you guys can get 35% off. Hopefully like next week, you'll see a TV up on this screen. I'm so, or up on this right there. Bink, bink. I really want a mantle as well. We gotta figure out a way to do that. I'm excited to have a TV. It's gonna be amazing. I have some British baking show on. Oh, it's gonna be so wonderful. Anyway, thank you guys. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next one.